Hi, and welcome to Lingua Musica, where music is the common tongue. I'm Barbie Angel, and lucky me, I am here with Nikki Sanders, the fiddler for Steep Canyon Rangers. Hi, Nikki. Hi. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. You guys, um, you are not only with the Steep Canyon Rangers now, you are with Steve Martin and the Steep Canyon Rangers. Right. Almost two different bands. Yes, absolutely. And uh, you guys just did a, released a new album, Rare Bird Alert, which came out in mid-March. That's right. At debuted... Debuted at number one on the Billboard Bluegrass charts. Number yeah. one. You've had the opportunity to to kind of put that to the test and, and be on We've, a lot of different yeah. mainstream television shows this past there year. There have been, yeah, a ton of television shows. Just in 2011. Mm-hmm. Apart from the Capital Fourth, we also played on the Letterman Show. We played Conan. Uh, we were on Ellen DeGeneres. Uh, we played the Colbert Report on Comedy Central. Uh, we were on The View. That's right. Um, Whoopi Goldberg. And, um, then we played a show uh, for the BBC in London called The One Show that was just broadcast in the UK. But you can find that online too. Yeah, there was there was just a slew of television shows. I think the main thing, though, in, in terms of playing for new audiences, at least the way, what it feels like for us, because you can never tell on television how many people are watching. It's hard to really gauge that response and gauge, you know, oh, did we pick up any fans in, in Wisconsin, in Idaho, and anywhere? And I think a lot of people in Texas, but also anywhere in California, will buy tickets to a Steve Martin show thinking, oh, this is going to be comedy or oh, I know this guy because of his movies, but I don't know if I like the banjo or not. I'm going to go for him. And they leave. Uh, Converted. Well, yeah, or, or at least owning their first bluegrass yes. record yes. And, and walking away and thinking, you know, I might want to, I might want to check this out. I might want to go to some bluegrass festivals in my county, whether it be Orange County, California, where there are some bluegrass festivals, or whether it be, you know, um, Wake County, North Carolina. The ad lib aspect of this genre is one of the things I really enjoy about being now a bluegrass fiddler. I was trained, as you know, as a classical violinist, um, where basically what's written on the page is what you play. And uh, to be able to go off, as it were, and, you know, play anything that comes into my head <laughs> um, it's pretty is, cool. is cool. And, and, and I have a lot of fun. I have I dare say more fun now being a bluegrass fiddler um, than I did when I made my living performing as a violinist. And what is the difference? Can you can you explain this to me? What is the difference? Is it just there is, is it pressure no, and tempo and there is no difference between a violin and the fiddle except for how you play it. And if you're playing country music, bluegrass music, uh, even uh, rock, sometimes you call it a fiddle, rock mm -hmm. fiddle. Uh, if you're playing classical music, it's a violin. Uh, jazz tends to call it a violin, too, if you're playing jazz violin. Um, but, yeah, all the, the technique is very different. So the approach, uh, like you said, the amount of bow pressure, and, yeah, when, I would say, actually, in, in classical music, there's a wider spectrum of bow pressure, for instance, you might have really soft notes and also very loud attacks. Um, I think stereotypically people would say, well, in bluegrass, you know, you're just ding, 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 you're just sawing away and it's always loud. But I don't, I don't think of myself as that kind of player. I try to use as still a, a fairly wide dynamic range, have soft notes, really loud notes uh, within bluegrass. And maybe part of that comes from having been trained as a classical violinist. Um, I, I certainly think that one of the most boring things you can do if you're playing fiddle is to just play loud all the time. What we think about a lot as, as a quintet, the Steep Canyon Rangers, um, is orchestration. Because there is orchestration going on all the time, you know, you go to see any bluegrass band, they have chosen when the mandolin is going to take a break and when the banjo is going to break and maybe the fiddle is going to kick off the song, be the first person, um, and where the verses and the choruses fall and how long a break you're going to hear. All those things are decisions that have to be made and the band needs to know that. Um, the same thing happens, you know, like you said on, on the Great Remember when we go into the studio, uh, 
that song started as just a solo banjo uh, that Steve Martin wrote. Um, and, and so he's got the solo banjo melody and we have to figure out, okay, well, maybe he plays it once by himself. And then we all kind of sneak in. Maybe we sneak in all at once or one at a time. And um, that was kind of figured out that day uh, at, in the studio. We recorded it right here in Asheville, North Carolina at Echo Mountain. Um, Gary Pachosa was our uh, engineer and Tony Trishka uh, was a producer on that record. Steve Canyon Rangers are getting ready to go back to Echo Mountain. And we are, we're going back to the again. same studio. Uh, we're going to use Gary Pachosa again, or, I, or use him, I, I suppose I say, we're going to be blessed by his presence, both as an engineer, but as a co-producer. Uh, he's going to produce the next Steve Canyon Rangers solo record uh, with us, and I just say solo to mean to differentiate from Steve Martin. We're going to make our first record for Rounder Records, who we just signed with um, in October, and uh, we'll be making it right here in Asheville at Echo Mountain. Thank you very much, Nikki. I do appreciate it. Uh, it's fabulous, as always, to talk to you. And thank you for joining us on Lingua Musica, um, where music is the common tongue. Steep Canyon Rangers are on Twitter, at Steep Canyon, and they're on Facebook. Steep Canyon Rangers will go ahead and put links to that on the site, because apparently they're so popular, there's other people pretending to be them now. <laughs> Um, that our fan page is not associated with the band. And if you want direct links, you can go to steepcanyon.com. You can find out their tour schedule, which has both tour dates for the Rangers and the Rangers with Steve Martin. And everybody, uh, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.